What is up guys, it is Pyro Bandit here and uh, here we are with another unboxing, uh, an HD unboxing from Bomber Shop. Um, before we get started with the unboxing, a couple of questions I'd like to answer because I seem to get asked it quite a lot um, and that is where am I from? Um, so I'm, I'm half English so originally I am from England. Um, because of my job I travel quite a lot so I do still spend some time in England but I also spend some time, or most of the time, outside uh, of England nowadays. So, I actually do have a, another channel, um, another channel called Pyro JM, and that channel I started a couple of years back, and that was for when I was spending most of my time um, around England, and that channel is solely dedicated to fireworks and um, fireworks dashes from the UK. Um, I would normally only post a couple of times a year, but ever since living out of the UK, um, I now am able to do a lot more stuff like this from Bomber Shop and whatever else. So hence why I started Pyro Bandit. Um, so I hope that clears up. Um, you know, I know a lot of English people seem to be asking me, you know, can I order from Bomber Shop and all that. I personally have never ordered from Bomber Shop to the United Kingdom, but I know a lot of people that do. Um, so, you know, but I, I can only advise so much obviously because of the, um, of the, of the shipping issues that, that a lot of people have shipping to, um, to the UK. Um, but also I'd like to say as well, a massive thank you to getting to over a hundred subscribers. The channel's only been running, a, you know, um, a month or two. So I really appreciate all the, uh, the great feedback that I've had so far. Um, anyway, let's get cracking with this unboxing. Um, yeah, it was um, this was a bit of a spontaneous order, but there were a few things that I wanted to get um, for the Halloween uh, special, which I'm going to be doing. So this order here, um, I think, is around 200 euros um, worth of stuff. But we got some really nice pieces in here, and um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So as always. Excellent service from Bomber Shop. I think they are definitely one of the very best pyro shops to go to. Um, and they really are adding some really cool stuff all the time to their online shop. So, a couple of new things. We're going to start off with this. This is a fun little novelty. Um, they come in a pack of two. So, we've got three packs. And these are called Pooping Dog. Um, pretty unusual novelty. Now... If you're into your American fireworks um, and you follow American firework videos, you will see this in a lot of firework shops in the United States. Pooping Dog is just is quite a, uh, a common novelty that they have there. So this basically um, creates like a, almost like a snake coming out of, um, uh, of this side of the dog and it makes it look like it's taking a poo um, so it's a bit of a fun novelty and then it finishes off with a, a, a nice crackling coming from uh, the front side of the dog so a little bit unusual you know a little fun thing for the kids but uh, I've, I've never I've never seen these before uh, certainly I've never seen them outside of the United States so a little bit unusual the um, manufacturers I mean it's all written here in Polish so um, I'm guessing there's some uh, some uh, company in uh, Poland that's now taking these on. But uh, they're pretty cheap. They're like, I don't know, if you like your novelties, they're like a couple of euros per pack. So, a little bit of fun. Anyway, moving on. Um, I got a pack of jumbo firecrackers. Let's go ahead and get everything in focus. There we go. So, pack of jumbo firecrackers. These are by Surex. I've never tried these before. They were fairly cheap, uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and give them a go. The uh, NEC, you can see there, is 2.05 grams. They're CE, so um, fairly recent batch, I would imagine. But um, yeah, Jumbo Firecrackers by Surex. Um, I was given a couple of freebies um, from Bomber Shop, so as always, thank you very much, Bomber Shop. Uh, pyro Speed. I have no idea what these do. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and uh, grab a knife here and open 
and uh, open this box so we can actually see what they look like. I'm guessing it'll be some sort of maybe a little ground bloom. Yeah, you can see there, they're just like a, a little ground bloom effect, I would imagine. A little bit of fun, but uh, always nice to have some freebies. And uh, that is made by Keller Fireworks. Another freebie is this uh, ABC selection from Yorgi Fireworks. So we have a pack of uh, XXS, no idea what they are. Um, I presume these are like little ground blooms. Then we have um, some color crackling balls, which are always great fun. And a packet of Piccolo Corsairs. So a nice little, um, nice little selection there. Again, thank you very much, a nice freebie. Freebies are always good. Uh, another couple of freebies we got is Cormoran by Cometa. Never tried this particular uh, this particular flying novelty. It uh, might have a sounds like it's got maybe some stars in there, so it might have like a little crackling effect or something like that. But always a bit of fun. And then we have. Uh, Green Smoke, a Green Smoke Fountain from Yorgi, and uh, this particular one has 70 grams, it mentions fountain there, I don't know if you can see, yeah, let's get you all uh, focused in, there we go, so it's got 70 grams, and um, yeah, it's a Green Smoke Fountain, it's got a good amount of weight to it, so. Uh, by the way, I've never really asked, but uh, you know, if you guys are into smoke fountains, let me know. That's something I can add. Um, I personally am not a massive fan of them, but you know, if you guys want to see that kind of stuff, then do let me know because I'm, uh, I would be more than happy to um, to go ahead and, and share that with you guys. Uh, wow, so much stuff. Uh, let's start off with this. Uh, let's go with this big one here at the back. So, Panta. Pyrotechnic Professional Series. Now this is a typical slice cake. So all of these tubes, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots, all angled. And this is a blue bouquet. You can see that right there. And this one's 220 grams. Now, those of you that don't know, um, Blue is always one of the most expensive colors in fireworks. And the reason is because the element cobalt, which makes blue, um, it, uh, it, it runs, the cooler that it ignites, the brighter the blue. So it's quite a tough balance to get the cobalt to burn at a low temperature for it to have a really bright blue. That's why you'll always find that uh, things like the Tuono series firecrackers, you'll notice they're all the same price apart from the blue one. The blue one's a little bit more expensive. Well, that's because blue is always more of a challenge and more expensive generally to make. So blue fireworks are not the most common, um, but that's why they're a little bit more expensive. So a nice little slice cake there. Um, big fan of blue bouquets. So. That's why I went ahead and got that. I think this one was about, um, I think it was like 13 euros, something like that, which for a professional slice cake is not too bad. Okay, uh, moving on to uh, a cake. This is the Halloween cake from Classic. And uh, this is uh, one of the latest ones. You'll see 2018, 16 shots. This has 200 and eight grams of powder and uh, it uh, usually says there's four different color effects but it, it's this is a really nice cake I was in between this cake um, or the other Halloween cake by Paro uh, I think it's Pyro Moravia um, but I decided to go with the classic one instead uh, it just appealed to me a little bit better I preferred the effects and I think it was a little bit cheaper as well I think it was like eight euros or maybe even a bit less um, so yes, that will go into my uh, Halloween, uh, my Halloween uh, compilation, which, uh, well, wow, it's already next week. That's pretty, pretty crazy. But um, yeah, I'll be uploading that next week. A couple of other cakes that we got was uh, Falcon Rising. 
by Brothers Pyrotechnics. Now this is a really cool cake. Um, again, if you are into your American fireworks, you will see this on almost every shelf of every fireworks store. Falcon Rising is a very old school cake. It has been around for a long time and it's continuously being sold in the American market. So kind of unusual to see it on somewhere like Bomber Shop, which is why I bought it. Um, it's a 25 shot cake. It's got some nice gold bouquets and uh, it's also got some really nice crackling effect too. So I think it was like nine euros and the NEC on this one is 210 grams. So that's, that's a pretty good price. But um, yeah, so that's Falcon Rising by Brothers Pyrotechnics. Oops, just trying not to drop everything. So next up we have the uh, another professional series cake by Panta Pyrotechnics, and this one is called Peacock. Uh, it's a uh, 49 shot cake. It has 274 grams of powder. And this is a beautiful fan cake. Um, it doesn't have any reports or um, or big like bouquets and that kind of stuff. It is mostly colored comets, but it's a very nice professional effect. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then this is a, a really nice little cake to, uh, to add. I think it was maybe about 18 or 19 euros, which is pretty reasonable for, you know, for a professional cake like this. Then we have uh, a couple of shells. Um, we have a three inch, and this one here is a titanium salute with a silver tail. I don't know whether you guys can read that there. It's a little bit uh, fuzzy. Um, and the brand on this one, I can't see. It's just a, I think it's just a generic, a generic one. Um, but yeah. So a three inch titanium salute. We then have another three inch t titanium salute. This is a 75 millimeter caliber uh, by Zinc Fireworks. Cylinder bomb number 608 titanium salute. This is 190 grams. Very nice. Anything by Zinc Fireworks is very high quality. Very high quality indeed. So that's uh, another nice shell to add. Um, then we have uh, some firecrackers. We have the Ultras Liberi. These are by Ultrashop. Ultrashop, Bomber Shop, same thing. Just a different website. These are the Ultra Liberi Small. They've just released uh, a medium sized one, but uh, unfortunately I missed out. They sold out pretty quick, so I couldn't get, couldn't get them, but we definitely are gonna be trying the small ones uh, instead. So I don't usually go for the smaller firecrackers, but um, these ones had some pretty good reviews. So we thought we'd give it, give it a try. Moving on to uh, some other bigger firecrackers. We have the collection of the Tuono series. Uh, for those of you that want to see all four um, together in one video, you can do that. Um, I have on my channel, Tuono Classic versus Tuono Blue, Crackling and Gold. And these are the 30 series. Very loud and very strong firecrackers. The gold obviously does a, a gold flame. The crackling does some crackling. Blue does a blue flame. And the classic does just a generic, traditional, um, like orange kind of flame. But uh, the Tuono series are all very, very good. The Tuono Blue, as I said earlier, is a little bit more expensive than the rest of them. We have two of the Angry Clown XLs by uh, Pyro Bandits. And these are very strong, good firecrackers. Um, I think these have 20 grams. They produce a nice red flame and a really good report. I'm a big fan of Pyro, Bandit, uh, Pyro Bandit's products. Um, very, very good. I'm yet to have an item from Pyro Bandit's that hasn't been good quality. 
And if you're into your slightly smaller firecrackers, um, I thoroughly recommend the Mr. Boom 2 and also the Angry Clown Small. They're very, very strong firecrackers. Um, another 200 gold, this is the 200 gold 20. So similar kind of class to the um, Angry Clown XL. This one has 33 grams. And we have two black thunders now these are slightly different to the um to the other black thunders that i had um different design different um bottom side to them um and these are both have got 33 grams but uh, i'm sure they're going to be both very similar to what the other black thunders were i do have a video of the other black thunder um, if you want to see that on my channel. Funky Toeno number six. Um, I had somebody ask me if I could get some of these and do a video for them. So here they are. Ten pieces. And um, these are some of the biggest Toenos that uh, Funky do. Um, I think these are six grams from what I remember. Pretty sure it's yes, six grams. So nice, large Duenos. And because they don't have much of a filling, because there's not much stuff inside the construction of the firecracker, it's always going to be a little bit louder. So we, I will do a video um, of these. We then have some uh, wild bulldogs from Triplex. Uh, this is part of the new range from Triplex that um, Bomber Shop have got in their online store. And this is a uh, it says NEC three grams. And uh, we can see here, these are actually, these have a very similar feel actually to the uh, Mephisto Mana New. Um, and also they have a very similar feel to the Little Cobra 2 and Ares 2. So I would imagine they're going to be very similar in the way that they perform. And they come in a pack, I think, of... 20 I think it is um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was 20 items anyway but uh, these uh, price wise I'm sorry um, I haven't mentioned all the prices but price wise these are about uh, I think three three euros something like that so again pretty pretty cheap then we have the Exploder 4 from Tropic these are new ones in the shop uh, recently they also have the Exploder 5, which are a little bit bigger in, um, in length. I think they're actually almost identical, though, in the amount of powder they have in them. Yeah, so they, they both have 4.5 grams. Uh, sorry, if you can see that. There we go. 4.5 grams. Um, these ones have a lot more clay and a lot heavier. So they may not be as loud as the Exploder 5s. But um, they're going to be they're going to be fairly similar, I would imagine. I will do um, I will do an individual video on these. And then we have Mad Bulldog. And these are the bigger ones from uh, Triplex. These are actually five grams. Uh, I would imagine very similar to the five gram Dum Bums. Similar sort of construction. And, uh, but a fairly good price, I think. Uh, well, actually, no, I think these were maybe a little bit more expensive than the Dumb Bums. Um, can't quite remember. But either way, um, good product. So I've seen some videos of these ones and they look pretty good. So I will do another video myself. 
And uh, finally, we have this really nice heavy cake. And this is called Ghost by Classic. Um, this is a really heavy cake. This one has 931 grams of powder. And it was like, I think, 54 euros, which is really good value for that much powder. Um, this was a, a very, very impressive cake. Um, for those of you that haven't seen it, do go and have a look at it. Um, I thought it was awesome. It had like a delayed blinker effect, which uh, was very, very impressive. 49 shots, pretty high caliber. So, but really heavy cake. I mean, that's... Uh, that's a pretty impressive one. So, anyway, that is uh, that is it for this unboxing. Um, as always, guys, please do give it a thumbs up. And, uh, and please do subscribe if you haven't already. Um, lots and lots of product videos. And obviously the Halloween compilation going, uh, going up next week. Um, but if there's anything in this video that you guys would like to see in particular. If you want to see any particular product videos. Um, please do comment below. And uh, I will... I will do those for you um, in, uh, in the next couple of weeks. So anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.